Computers have been a big part of our lives for decades now. We all know how to use Control S to save, or at least how to go to File Save. But one of the questions I get all the time is, I saved my level, how come I lost half my work? Well, that's because Unreal isn't just one file. It's an entire ecosystem. But once you understand the three keys to success when you're saving your work, you'll never have that problem yourself. The first key is to understand levels versus actors. Let's break it down. A level is the scene that you actually see in your viewport. You'll also hear this referred to as a map or a set, depending upon your industry. You'll get used to hearing me call it a scene. These all refer to the same thing. The level itself is like a container for your layout. Everything inside of the level exists somewhere in the content browser or in the engine code for certain base elements like lights. When you hit Control S, it's going to save the level and just the level. This saves the layout of any actors in it, but does not save the actor itself if you made any changes directly to an actor, such as changing the color of a material or the default material assigned to the mesh. Let's go ahead and create a new basic level, then hit Control S to save it. You'll get the Save Level As dialog. Right click on the content and select New Folder, then just name it my stuff with no spaces. Now we'll set a name for the map. I'll call mine Saving Tutorial, and then we'll click Save. I'll use the Quick Add button to add a couple of cubes and then hit Control S to save again. Now each actor in a scene is self-contained. While you can move, scale, rotate, and update the details of an actor in a scene, the base actor itself in the content browser keeps its defaults and is saved in the content browser. Remember how we dragged a chair into our scene and then manipulated it? If we were to drag the chair in from the content browser again, we'll get the original chair. We can then manipulate it in a different way. If we save the level, then both versions of the chair will be saved in that layout. But the original chair in the content browser remains unchanged. This is because the actor assets are saved independently of the level that they're in. To demonstrate, let's navigate to the chair in the content browser. Hit Control D to make a duplicate of the chair so that we're not messing with the original. And if you select the thumbnail, then hit F2, you can rename it. I'll call mine SM underscore tutorial chair. Now, if we double click it, it'll open up the static mesh editor. In this editor, you can see a viewport with a showcase of the asset in it on the left and a details panel on the right. Let's go ahead and change the material. We can click on this drop down and see a list of all of the materials in the project. You can also search for a material. I'll type in gold and assign this one. Notice how the thumbnail in the browser has an asterisk on it. This means that the asset has changes and it needs to be saved. To save our new chair, we'll have to click the Save button in the Asset Editor. Now, if we drag our new chair out into the scene, you'll see it has the new gold material on it. And the original chair still has the original material on it. Now, if we go into the Starter Content Materials folder, let's find another material. How about Brushed Nickel? We can drag and drop that onto the slot in the editor. Notice that it changes in the level. However, if we go up to this Browse button in the Asset Editor to find it in the Content Browser, you'll notice it still has the asterisk. This means that the asset itself is not saved even though you see it in the editor. So even if you save the level, if you were to close Unreal now without saving the asset, then when you came back, the chair would be gold again. Remembering to save in different places can be kind of cumbersome, but Unreal does provide a solution to make it easier. Which brings me to the second key, using Save All. If you go to File, you'll see several save options, including one called Save All. The hotkey for this is Control Shift S. Now, if you remember no other shortcut, remember this one. This will save you more than you know. Say it out loud with me. Control Shift S. Control Shift S, or Save All, does exactly what it says. It saves everything. 
It saves the level layout you're working in, all of the settings inside of it, and all of the actors that you've updated. When you're working on a project in Unreal Engine, you'll want to shift your mindset away from the traditional Control S to save and get comfortable with Control Shift S to save all. Now, real quick, while we're on the topic, I want to bring up something that's new in Unreal Engine 5, the concept of one file per actor. Now, you may hear this phrase thrown around a bit in various conversations, but what does it actually mean? Didn't we just talk about how all actors are their own independent files in the content browser? Yes, we did. But one file per actor is actually referring to something completely different. This really pertains to working on group projects, specifically related to source control, which is something that we'll talk about in full detail later in the full course. Traditionally, only one person on a team could work on a level at a time. They would have to check out and lock everyone else out of that level while they were working on it. Unreal Engine 5 changed that by introducing the one file per actor system. What this means is that each actor that exists in a level has all of its level related information, such as location, scale, and rotation saved in an external file. Now these external files are more like hidden files with gibberish names that exist only to store that information outside of the level itself. You don't need to worry about tracking them or working with them directly. All that happens automatically behind the scenes. Just know that this allows more than one person to work on the same level at the same time, which is something that you couldn't do in Unreal Engine 4. All right, now that you know how to properly save in Unreal, it's time to get out there and start getting comfortable with putting together some layouts. I'll see you in the next one.